hey guys welcome to my channel Madik Mukul I hope everyone is fine and doing well and uh, this video is going to be super informative in which I will discuss the process of online process of NMC registration or eligibility certificates and uh, the further I will discuss like how can you generate your user ID or the password through the NMC website and how to fill the application forms and in the end I will tell you about which documents you need for the submissions and what other requirements you need for the submission uh, to the NMC registrations so if you are new here then please consider the subscribe button and press the bell icons to get the more updates okay so let's start so first step you need to do first you need to log in on www.nmc.org.in so when you will log in the nmc page will be open here and in this page when you will go down so you will find here the student login so in the student login click on the student login page and here you will find the red color so there and the blue color so blue color is not for us and the red color so click here to login and the register so click here so when you will click here then it will show username passwords and if you already have the username or the password you can just uh, put your username and then you passwords then it's completely done but if you don't have then what you need to do then you need to register now so you click on the register now and when you click on the register now so you need to fill your authentic data like applicant names email address mobile number enroller number if you know then you can fill then select your information school and the college number so let me write it here my name mukul words and email address okay put my email address anything mukul words 20 at the rate gmail.com so you can fill your email id and then you put your number like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero any number you have then you can put here then you put need to put your enrollment enrollment number if you don't know then you can skip this one the most important thing you need to put it here that's a red star button then you need to choose the select year of admissions so let me select it here 2017 and the school college names if you know then you can fill something like senior secondary school or uh, just I just fill it now you can put your college name also then you need to fill the capture here you can just refresh your uh, capture capture also so it will be like tw so capital t w capital x small k t capital r then what you need to you just need to submit this one so if it will submit then you will be get notified that you are successfully registered now you can log in for your future process so for that you will get your email from the gmail from the uh, nmc and uh, there we will find the username or the password so let's see it next step so in the next step you need to open your uh, gmail id and uh, then you will see your sport dmpp.nmc.org.in and you will get the notification uh, email uh, email here dear sir many your user id in room then user id you will get the same like as uh, your email id and the password you will get then you need to fill that forms in your user login id so mukova 20 and i put the password here then you need to log in so when you will log in then this page will be open password and everything so after that the login page will be automatically open now you will in this tab you will get my dashboard page in the left corner we will see the dashboards when you click on the dashboard then eligibility certificate will be open and here you when you click on the eligibility certificate then raise a request so when you will raise a request then application form will be automatically open on your screens and here you need to fill your names then father name you need to fill then select the gender here and then select your nationality then you need to fill your date of birth then age as on 31st so no, no, no need to fill then mobile number Aadhaar card number you need to fill then upload self-attested document only and upload all the other code copy I will tell in the end also which uh, documents you need uh, so upload here the Aadhaar card copy if you have and if you don't have the Aadhaar card copy then there is other identification proof so you can fill your ID type or ID number 
then identification document so if you have the aadhar card then you don't need to fill this one then point number 10 you need to fill the voter identity card number if you don't have then you can skip only the red star button you need to fill it correctly otherwise you can leave that if you don't have the anything so you can just skip then country type where the admission is sought so others or the nepal there are the two options so you fill the others if you are in the studying in the nepal then fill the nepal passport number passport details you need to fill date of issue you need to fill place of uh, issue so place of issue you need to fill here that's india most probably the date of expiry you need to fill it here then category if you are which categories like sc st obc general or others so you need to fill the category option here otherwise uh, you can fill the category number here so if you don't know the category number you can skip this one then two visible identification cut marks you need to fill like cut on any of your uh, of your body or uh, any other identification marks if you have then you need to fill the present address in the capital letters including the pin code number so you need to fill it here like what is your present address like uh, any uh, like your village your town and district state with including the pin code number where you are living now otherwise you need to fill uh, in the 15th point 15 you need to fill the permanent address in the capital letters like include the pin code number then the details of educational qualification from 11th standard onwards so in this uh, point your number 16 you need to fill the 10th class joining date and 10th class passing date if you don't know then you can just you need to fill it here after that 11th class detail so you need to complete the school so where your uh, where your schools in india or in any other foreign university you need to fill that then you need to fill the school name and the address so school name and the address and your uh, city name like which city you are uh, studying or which village which town you are studying then you need to fill it here the board number board name and the address of so which is your board name and the address you need to fill like cbsc and the what the address of your board like where it is uh, cbsc delhi cbsc any other country like hbsc bhiwani so you need to fill the address also roll number you can just keep result pass certificate number if you know then you can just fill certificate if you don't have the certificate of 11th class so you can just get it from the school and uh, then the you need to fill the date year of joinings and date year of completions then you need to fill it here the maximum you are the marks that you obtained and the maximum marks about english physics chemistry and biology so everything you need to fill it here carefully because the you need to submit all the documents to the nmc also so please be careful when you will complete this 12th class intermediate so for this you need to complete for the 12th class you need to fill here like which is the school your school name what the address of your schools where it is located what is the place where your schools and the name of examination in the name of examinations it's like senior secondary examination or what kind of examination is it here you need to fill the board so which board you are having so like uh, which uh, university like you are studying the board of school humbly karnataka board of school education uttarakhand central board of higher education central board of secondary education so cbsc and the other is address address is ajmer so let me so i just uh, put it here central board of secondary cbsc ajmer so you need to completely fill it here which is your according to your location then you need to the complete the roll number roll number you can get on your certificate so fill it here then the you need to fill the date or year of the joining and year of passings so then the school code number if you know then you can fill otherwise you can <coughs> skip this one then there is a you need again to fill your 12th class marks here about the maximum marks and the marks obtained you need to fill it here completely question or uh, point sorry point 19 uh, here the bsc or any other university examination so if you done it like if you done the bsc before your mbbs uh, so you need to completely fill it here all the details if you didn't then no need of then go to the point number 20 here the country so country where you start we are currently studying like which country you are currently studying you need to fill it here then question uh, point number 21 point number 21 is the year of admission where you uh, in a foreign medical college institutions so which year you took the admissions that should be filled here 
than their name of the foreign so in kush and uh, point 22 and point 23 you need to fill your medical college institution name or uh, uh, college name university name you need to fill it here abc university then section c section c is all about attachment details so in this section you need to upload all your documents passport size photo with the white backgrounds so here the photo you need to upload so photo only you can upload in the jpg forms you can directly upload it here but all other documents like aadhar card photocopy 10th class mark sheet 11th class 12th class passing certificate class and uh, mark sheet all you need to upload in the pdf forms so when you will and all should be in the self attested documents only like your sign should be there so uh, take the three xerox uh, three xerox and one uh, take the three xerox of your every documents like i will update it now and uh, then self sign them and attach them and then upload them here then can 12th 11th class mark sheet that you can get in the school if you don't have 12th class passing certificate 12th class mark sheet mentioning the all subjects all subjects should be mentioning your mark sheet like which marks you have which marks you obtained which was what was the maximum marks everything because uh, like in the uh, in one uh, like hbsc or uh, some state boards they are giving the only the one certificate so you can just uh, completely fill but in other boards you can just get the different uh, mark sheet and different certificates so you need to complete fill it here two times then proof of nationality or overseas cities of in india so you can upload it uh, your passport details here or passport photocopy then the self attested copy of admission acceptance letter issued by concerned medical so here you need to fill your the admission letter all should be in the self attested or self signed be should be there original notarized affidavit so for that you can uh, check my link in the descriptions you can download it here or just uh, it will be like this so this is about uh, affidavit so you can just print it out and uh, take me it payment then you will get this eligibility certificate options and here you can see the eligibility certificate action required 
सीरियल नंबर पेंडिंग विद करंट स्टेटस एप्लीकेंट नेम्स कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर सो करंट स्टेटस इट विल शो इट हियर एंड आफ्टर दैट क्लिक ऑन द इनिशियट पेमेंट ऑफ इनिशियट पेमेंट सो इट विल डायरेक्ट यू टू द इनिशियट पेमेंट्स यू कैन पेमेंट वाया यूजिंग्स लाइक पेमेंट ऑप्शन यू आर हैविंग कार्ड्स वैलेट पेटीएम नेट बैंकिंग यू पी आई गूगल पे इट विल कोस्ट टू टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी इफ यू विल डेट ऑनलाइन दैन यू कैन यू हैव द लोड्स ऑफ मैथड हेयर लाइक फ्रॉम द कार्ड वैलेट पेटीएम इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू ऑनलाइन यू कैन मेक ए ड्राफ्ट फ्रॉम योर बैंक एंड देन यू कैन सबमिट दैट ड्राफ्ट सो दिस इज द वोल प्रोसेस लाइक फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग एंड देन फिलिंग द अपलिकेशन फॉर्म्स एंड देन डूइंग द पेमेंट so once your payment is done you will get the notification that your uh, payment is done successfully and after that you will get a emails and you will get a tracking number with the help of the tracking number you can track your application forms and in the final step you need to submit your documents all the self assigned photocopies or the xerox copy you need to send an nmc office so these are like 15 documents you need to submit all these so there is a 10th class mark sheet or passing certificate having your date of birth mentionings with self attested forms all should be self assigned and all should be when you will upload on the application forms all should be in the pdf forms then there is a Uh, 11th class mark sheet mentioning the all the subjects then 12th class passing certificate 12th class mark sheet mentioning all subject proof of nationality like passport front and the back both you need to submit admission letter that issued by your university notarized affidavit affidavit should be notarized and you can uh, take the format link that is given in the descriptions and you need to send the affidavit that should be original so it will cost you like 90 or 100 rupees something note photocopy okay so it's uh, you need to send it original notarized affidavit to the nmc office then mark sheet of bsc if you done it copy of caste certificate for obc st and sc and st only then er wise mark sheet of mbbs from first year onwards if completed mbbs and mark sheet plus degree copy will be there if you have completed your mbbs uh, from the foreign or any other university then you need to submit your uh, mark sheet along with your degree then uh, 11th point passport front back plus scan of old visa stamp page of your passport that i told you before then you can like all the pages all the stamp paper all the visa that are in your passport you need to send all of them the need certificate if you have then uh, you can send that payment receipt that you are getting the if you that you done the payments you need to send that declaration forms uh, that you can download from the link uh, in the description the declaration forms and the 15th you need to print out of eligibility form which you filled so you need to that eligibility forms or the application forms that you filled you need to take the print out of that and after filling the forms you will get option to download it so you can download it easily from there and uh, you need to send that to the nmc officer so these are the documents and remember all should be self signed or self attested photocopies or xerox should be there otherwise it will be not be acceptable